side of the road. Working the problem. What could the problem be today, Bobby Jean? Well, Ah yes, the one thing that drivers loathe, the possibility of getting a flat tire and being stranded on the side of the road. But hey, at least it's not raining. So I'm cruising down the highway, 65, 68 miles an hour. Pippi's riding up ahead of me. Everything's fine. All of a sudden, my TPMS goes off, my tire pressure monitoring system. Now the important thing at this point is to not panic. Don't slam on the brakes. Oh my God, we're gonna stop the vehicle and get off the side of the road. Because something I've learned, especially in the military driving track vehicles, is if you sling a track, you don't lock the laterals because that will spin you sideways, bounce, hop, and probably flip over with your head sticking out of hatch, and that's not good. Same thing with vehicles. If you blow a tire, you just wanna get off the accelerator, a slight, slight braking pressure to get you slowed down and uh, keep the vehicle in control, ease off the road, and that's exactly what we did. Uh, I, my thought, as soon as the, the uh, tire blew and I saw in the mirror that it genu genuinely was a flat, was uh, the, the, the dolly and the vehicle would begin to oscillate and fight, you know, the, the tire with air in it and the flat tire fight with each other as far as the offset of weight and, and traction and so on and become and create a very unstable dangerous situation because that's a lot of weight back there and if it starts slinging back and forth left and right it's probably going to pull the back of the rv with it at some point and possibly off on the side the rv goes and into the ditch perhaps fortunately it did not okay so what's my situation well as you can see i've taken abe off the dolly so that we can more easily uh, access the tires and i called good sam roadside assistance so we're going to see how well they do on the service that I bought and paid for. Uh, talked to a lady on the phone, she got all my information, location, GPS coordinates, and tire information. I told her to go ahead and bring out two tires, because I want their age to be about the same. And uh, the guy's gonna fix us up, get us back on the road here. She's gonna call me back in 30 minutes-ish and give me an update. So, don't like sitting on the side of the road like this, so I'm gonna go out here in the shade in case somebody decides to run into my rig there I'm going to try to stay at a safe distance Pippi's way up the road I told her to go ahead and find a decent uh, exit that has uh, a restaurant or something and just hang out work the problem so I was standing over here I threw my straps, threw my straps over here started walking back over here the semi truck goes by and I hear this clank, clank, clank come towards me. And uh, it was this big, heavy thing. Came off a semi truck and went between the, the Dolly and Abe right towards me. <laughs> so I'm staying over here. Got my warning triangle out way back there. So I just got off the phone with uh, Good Sam, roadside assistance. Uh, they got a guy coming, he'll be out here in about an hour and a half. He's bringing two tires, uh, the Michelin version of these Dolly tires, and they're an upgraded uh, model uh, with better ply. So it's mostly labor though in the cost. So we're looking at about 550 bucks for him to come out with two tires and swap them out. And, uh, you know, the main thing is it saves me the headache of having to go all the way, however far the next town is, find a tire store, find the tires, risk my butt changing the tires. Of course, I can unhitch the dolly, move it out of the way, but moving that around out of the ditch is not easy by yourself. It's heavy. And, uh, so I have somebody else do it. That's why I have the service, right? I'll just, I got the generator running, air conditioner on in there. Pippi's up a couple of exits. She's got the uh, fifth wheel opened up and the air conditioner and generator running. So they're just hanging out. Troopers stopped by, check on me. Had a nice chat, nice guy. On this end comes my tires. 
What's your name? Sammy. Sammy? Got Sammy here with Goodyear. I'll take care of business. Okay, so what caused the flat? Well, you see how the tire that came off of there, the rim ate it up, cut it off, but it was already wearing there. When we took the tire off here, that's the new tire here. When we took the tire off the other side that had, was not flat, you can see this wear ring on the tire right here. Well, it happens to be in the same place this, where this tire came apart. And then what we found was the frame inside here was rubbing up against the tire. This frame under here was rubbing on the tire here. And that was happening on both tires. Well, when you think about it, when Abe is sitting on the dolly and the dolly turns, this whole top part turns and you can see that Abe's wheels can contact this fender and bend those brackets up against the tire. So I've got to work out a solution to that. Alright, so Sam taking off. You good man? We have tire. And we have a new festering problem to address. I'll talk more when I get loaded up and get to a safe spot. Remember this shot from a previous video? It goes back over here. So I have got to try to swing a really... I do not like making turns like this. Proceed to the route. Uh, let's see if I can make this U-turn. If not, we gotta take the dolly off. And we don't want to turn too sharp to where the car strikes the RV. That's why you should not take sharp U-turns on a dolly. The tires press into the fenders on wider cars. Now in those last few seconds as the tire was coming apart, it didn't take long before the rubber just tore into the fender there, ripped out the LED lights on the front and back of the fender, and also caused uh, a little bit of damage to Abe's body. Now let's talk about my TPMS, my tire pressure monitoring system. I love my TPMS. That thing pretty much saved my neck in this situation because afterwards, Monday morning quarterbacking my myself and handling of the situation. I'm very thankful that I had that in place because it immediately warned, warned me of a catastrophic failure to that dolly tire. I visually stood up behind the steering wheel, visually confirmed the failure, and immediately began uh, taking appropriate action to get the rig slowed down and off the road without any more damage uh, taking place uh, to us the rig, me, or other people around me. Have I, had I not had that TPMS, it, it would have just been seconds longer until the tire was totally ripped away and would have been rim on road. And I just don't know the physics of what could have taken place had I not seen it as soon as I did. So I really encourage you, if you don't have a tire pressure monitoring system in place, is to look the different brands over and uh, get them implemented on your vehicle so that it's just not pe just not a peace of mind but it could save your life or the people around you through early notification that a situation has evolved involving your tires and you need to take appropriate action right away now when this uh, initially happened and I was still on the side of the road I posted on Instagram and Facebook a photo of the damaged tire and a caption of uh, working the problem <laughs> or having a great day um, and I got an inter interesting question there and it was when I got the flat did I feel any difference in the handling or the behavior driving characteristics of RV dolly 
tow vehicle configuration? And the answer was no, I had absolutely no input returned to me that anything was going on behind me with my towed vehicle. I had no input returned to me through the steering wheel, through the wheels, the ride on the road, through the seat of the pants, um, nothing. All I had was the TPMS going off, alerting me to there's a signal that I've lost rapidly, lost press, air pressure in the back, visually checked it out the window, it was flat, still intact as I began to break and pull off the road until it broke apart. I'm glad it still wasn't doing 68 miles an hour, unaware that anything was going on, and made aware when the dolly and car finally uh, began reacting to the uh, tire failure in some way by oscillating back and forth and slamming into the rig, jackknifing and turning, the, turning us over. There's a lot of things that could have happened that didn't. I certainly hope that you took away something useful from this episode. I know I did from this entire incident. If you'd like to share uh, another similar type of incident that you've experienced, please feel free to share it with us down below. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram and subscribe here for more therapy. I'm Bobby Jean and this is still my therapy. <laughs>